Hello! Today I'd like to show you one of my favorite appetizers and this is so simple and so easy uh, you're going to not believe you haven't tried this yourself before but uh, I'm going to make some stuffed mushrooms and uh, it's they're awesome and you're going to love these things when you try them. Uh, basically my ingredients include equal parts parmesan and some panko breadcrumbs it doesn't take very much. I have some smoked uh, cheese in this case it's a gruyere Gruyere, Gruyere, and uh, I also uh, like it if you can find a uh, smoked white cheddar and a couple of bratwurst. So basically, I'm just gonna take the bratwurst out of the skin, And I'm going to take my two pieces of bratwurst and I'm just going to mix my breadcrumbs and cheese with it. And you just got to mash them together. Then I just take one mushroom cap, take a square that I've cheese that I cut just basically to fit in there, you take a pile of bratwurst and just stick it on top, and that's it. You just keep doing that till you get all your mushrooms done. That's the finished product. Turns out uh, two brats only made enough for uh, these five mushrooms. Uh, you can also make this recipe using the uh, big portabella and one bratwurst fills up one portabella mushroom. And that's, uh, that's pretty much like having a meal right there. Just heat your oven up to 350 degrees. Make sure they don't tip over. And in 30 minutes you'll have a delicious snack. The oven is one method to make your mushrooms. If you really want to step up your game and make something really memorable, go ahead and put these babies on the grill. Uh, just got this over charcoal on my Weber and I'm just going to toss in a small handful of apple chips and uh, if you come back in 30 minutes they're going to be amazing. Well, half hours passed and I've lost my son, but my mushrooms are looking pretty awesome. These are a little fat. Uh, you might want to use a smaller mushroom if you want to go for a bite size thing. I'm going to cut this one in half just to let you see what they look like. They're really nice because you get the nice gooey cheese in the middle and the smoked bratwurst. Anyhow, try these for yourself. Hope you like them. Alright, the party's over and all of your friends raved about how awesome your mushrooms were. And yet there were still a couple left behind. Good news, because these are going to be awesome the next morning when you make an omelette or a scramble out of them. Uh, basically what I like to do is just take the mushrooms and cut them up into slices. And then I just put them in a hot skillet. And by the way, the skillet is much warmer if you remember to turn it on before you start filming. So I just go ahead and plop these in a pan. I try to make them um, about the same thickness so that you get nice even cooking. It's 
kind of cool. You can see how the cheese is melted in at the bottom. I'll just see if those a minute to warm up. They've heated up nicely and I've given them a flip. Now what I'm going to do now is turn the heat down a little bit because that pan's pretty hot. And what I'm going to do is add my eggs in. And this is just a mixture of uh, eggs, salt, pepper, well seasoning salt, and as much cheddar cheese as you want to put in. And then at this point you can just let it go and kind of turn itself into an omelet and flip it when it's done. Or uh, scramble it up and eat it like a scramble. Also what's really good with this is if you got some leftover baked potatoes, cut those into slices and throw them in there with the meat when you were preheating the meat up. And uh, uh, it's, it's really good. Okay, that took about two minutes to cook. I just uh, flipped her in half. And uh, but it smells really good in here. You really still get a lot of that smoke smell coming off of that cooked sausage. And we're getting a little bit of nice uh, oozy cheesy goodness coming out the side there. Anyhow, give it a try. Hope you like it. Thanks a bunch.